What's up everybody? So it's a new day, new me, but we still got the same problem. Working on this Audi again, and I'm gonna go ahead and try warming it up and hopefully that will help warm up this, warming up the engine will help alleviate or reveal, I guess, where this coolant leak is coming from because I'm still baffled on it. Now, what is leading me to think of this is there is coolant, is definitely losing coolant out of the uh, coolant reservoir. Keep having to add coolant to it. So there's a there's a tick right there that, hey, we're losing coolant. We need to figure out where it's going. Well, then you look at the, uh, the tailpipe and you see, well, hey, it's got a lot more smoke than what it probably should be because a well-running car should not smoke. Uh, that being said, there should be a little steam Especially when it's colder outside, it's like 40 degrees out, maybe 35 degrees outside. So it's cold, so there will be steam because you've got a hot engine and you've got moisture inside the um, exhaust pipe just from condensating. That's fine. That will go away eventually and you'll kind of get some puffs ever here and then like when you slow down and stop, you'll get like a little bit coming off. But it's definitely noticeably different when it's coolant and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what uh, I'm seeing I guess that's uh, it's leading me to this but with that I'm not only gonna show the Audi I'm gonna show my wife's Chevy Traverse now I was gonna show the Subaru but I got to thinking about it and I've got an open three inch cat back on that whole thing with no restrictions so it's not a very good comparison because the mufflers will hold most of the uh, moisture in them because there's actually sound deadening material in them. Well, that sound deadening material gets cold, gets moisture around him, and it holds moisture in there. And it takes a while for those to warm up. I don't have any of those on the Subaru, so it just goes straight out. Fine, well, a good comparison would be another similar vehicle. Now, I don't have another Audi, but I do have another stock car that has mufflers and cats and a resonator just the same as the Audi does. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to turn both of them on and hopefully we can get a definitive. What's the difference between the two? Hopefully fingers crossed, but if not, we still have a problem. It's, it might be more of when we're driving that we've get the problem because idling kind of is low load on the engine. So it doesn't force, doesn't have a whole bunch of extra pressure. Like when you're driving, your oil pressure rises. Well, your coolant pressure rises too. So that might be part of the problem, but hopefully we will be able to see it. We'll get to it. Well, we got her car started, and you can kind of tell, hopefully, that there is a little bit of smoke coming off of it. But that's it, that's all just condensation. There's nothing super funny looking about it. This is just cold start, so I will let it warm up a little bit and see if it goes away, and it should go away, hopefully, but. That's all you should see is just a little bit of smoke from the condensation.
hope you can see it, but there's still some smoke coming off of it, and there's a pretty good amount of condensation actually coming off of the tailpipe. Well, it's confusing yet again. We went to the back and it's actually looking pretty normal. It definitely is smoking a little more, but it's not terrible. Put the new coolant tester on it and it wasn't pumping up. So that's weird, but we pumped it up to 15 and now it's holding pressure. So where is it going? Maybe it was just bleeding off, maybe it's the heater, I don't know. We will figure that out hopefully. up to temperature yet but it's definitely warm so we're gonna go ahead and let this warm all the way up and make sure that we're actually at uh, I don't remember what it is like 190 or whatever but we're actually at our operating temperature and we'll check with it again but so far everything seems to be fine I mean temperatures rising just fine the actual exhaust seems to be doing decent I mean you can kind of see it back there behind me so that's kind of concerning but it's weird it's not like not like it was it was like a super white thick I wouldn't say smoke but more like condensation I don't know like steam there we go like a thick white steam coming off of it and it's like you can tell when it's just condensation because it's kind of really you can barely see the exhaust coming out and when it's coolant, it's like white. You will definitely see. Weird. Well, we'll just keep working on this and keep plugging away at it, I guess. There it is. It finally got her up to operating temperature. Heater's still on, so hopefully it's getting in our heater core. So to get it in the heater core, you put it on high and you put it as hot as you can get it, and that will, and the defroster, and that will get it into your, um, your heater core fastest that will get it through we're at operating temperature and it's still looking like steam Still holding 15, just shy of 15. It's running. Well, after countless attempts on trying to get this figured out, I don't have a definitive answer. The only thing that I can think of is that it didn't get bled good enough and that bleeding process is what's drinking the coolant because we've Took the head apart, we got a whole bunch of coolant out of the system, and now you gotta get coolant back into all those little nooks and crannies. So that's what I think happened. It was it was bleeding itself and burping the coolant system, and that's where the extra coolant was going. We're gonna keep driving it, see if it happens again. If it does, then we'll have a different way to go. But right now it just looks like it needed to be bled. Um yeah, the tailpipe seems to be just fine. I don't know. I can't figure it out. Uh, at least right now, we're going to drive it, let it figure, let it work itself out. Maybe something else will go with it. Maybe we'll get something other definitive answer. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. You enjoy your night. Um, if you guys have this problem, let me know. I'm really struggling with this one. It seems to be... 
uh, not showing what it's actually trying to do. I don't have any leaks underneath the car, but it just has smoke every now and then. Not smoke. I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's not acting right. Anyways, I'm getting out of here. Enjoy the rest of your night. Um, leave a comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think is, you think is a problem. Maybe I'll chase down those leads. Um, take it easy, everyone. Peace.